Hello class, this is Miss Gibbons. You'll have to forgive the noise around me. I'm stopping to record a video for you. Um, today in class we were talking about finding peer-reviewed journal articles. So I want to give you some hints on how to do that. So the first thing that you would do, the best way to get into the correct location to start your search is to type in, if you look at the very top of the screen here, where it's uh, got the address highlighted, you're going to just, I'm going to take you through this even though we're already on the page. You'll type in southcentral.kctcs.edu. That's going to take you to our main page at our school. Uh, click current students because that's, that should be easy to remember because that's you. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see the library link. So click the library link. Once you get on this page, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, there is a main search box uh, right here that we can put stuff in, and uh, that's what most people do. Uh, you can also go to the library's, uh, what, the library's page and find all kinds of information there. But we're gonna we're gonna use this tool because that's what I showed some of the people in class, and so I don't want to confuse the issue by giving you a lot of different areas to go to. Uh, I may do the Questia one that's in your book as well to show you that just in case. Uh, but since I did the homeschooling thing in class, that's what we're going to use. So I'm just going to type in homeschool. Uh, you might type in something else. Uh, you might type in nursing and pediatrics or business and startup costs or whatever you're doing for your project. And I'm going to put socialization. Okay. And then I'm just going to click go. And you'll see some stuff pop up here in a second. So once your results load, uh, the very first thing you should do is sign in um, so that the library database recognizes you and you can find your information. So once you hit sign in, go ahead and put in just your login. It's not, you don't put at KCTCS or anything like that. It's just your login. Uh, I'm not going to do that just to save time on the video because each video is limited to 15 minutes. So instead, I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to show you a couple things. Uh, there is uh, a little checkbox here. You see where that says peer reviewed. And if you click that, and then click full text online, you're going to find that once you apply the filters, you have to hit the green button to do this. Um, it's going to load and you're going to find some things on here. And the very first thing it says, it has full text. It says cultural discontinuity between home and school language socialization uh, patterns. That's not something that I want. Um, this one does have homeschool with Asperger syndrome. So it kind of it kind of depends on what I want to do with this. Uh, and this does have something that I probably could use because it's about uh, their relation to homeschool and peer self-esteem. Uh, just sort of depends on what direction I'm going with this. So you can see that there's uh, quite a few. Some of these say no full text. And that happens quite a bit on the database for whatever reason. But there are some that do have full text. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take you to Google and show you a way of doing it to kind of track down a peer-reviewed journal article. So we're on Google now, but on the other page that you saw where you had the full text, if you click the full text, it'll come up with links and you can click the link as long as you're, lo as long as you're logged in and it'll pull that article up. Now not all of the ones that say they're peer-reviewed are going to be peer-reviewed. You have to look for certain things. And I'm actually going to remind you of that as well as we go through this. So one of the reasons that I do this this way is that uh, a lot of times when you click um, in the database and it goes to a page for an article, that article is in PDF format. So when you're doing your search on Google, it's a good idea to put PDF after it. And I usually put the dot because that's the extension that you use when you save them. So on this one, we're going to do homeschool and socialization. So you see what it does without that. Uh, you can, I've already got some things pulling up, but if I went ahead and put .pdf, it's a little more likely to pull up uh, peer-reviewed journal articles, and it actually looks like I've got one at the top. Uh, maybe. We're going to look at it and see. So here's what you're looking for. You see this cited by 54? That means that someone has used this as a source in their paper. So you can see the internet kind of knows what's going on on the internet. Um, so let's click this and see if it is one. 
and it takes just a few seconds to load because I have a slow computer. And here is what we have. Let's see if this is an actual peer review journal article. Nope, it's not. So this is some sort of review research. So let's go back and try to find one. We're still looking at PDF. So as we scroll down here, um, again, we're looking for something that's been cited. So what effect does homeschool have on test scores? That looks like it might be one. Uh, homeschooled versus public schooled. That's a college one, I'm not sure. Now this one has credentials. This looks promising because Eric, when you see the word Eric here, that is an actual database out there on the internet. Uh, and it looks like we're going to be able to pull up something here. And it's cited by 27 people. So let's click on there. And I bet this is going to be a peer-reviewed journal article. At least we have our fingers crossed, right? So I didn't plan this. I'm just illustrating it for you as we go. Okay, let's have a look here. This says, okay, so we're looking for a PhD or some sort of credentials usually. We've got a volume and an issue number and a year. So you've got, and the page number. So something is going on here that seems familiar. And then it goes on, homeschool researcher. So it goes on to... This is the National Home Education Research Institute. Okay, so this isn't the traditional one, but because it has research, you see how all the research is in here, the results. You'll see things like results, methods. There'll be a discussion section usually. Um, they all kind of look uh, similar to each other. And at the end, it has a big old list of references because anybody who's doing something that's going into a peer review journal, which it looks like this one will be homeschool researcher, um, they usually use resources. So I'm going to go back and we're going to look for another one. Okay, so as you can see down here, I'm actually on page three. I paused it so I could go and uh, sort of scroll through. Remember that research is not fast. That's that's one of the first lessons in this. So uh, here is what looks like one. Um, when you click on it, you're going to see some key elements. Now this is one that I would say for sure absolutely is a peer-reviewed journal article because here you have, you've got your title, um, you've got your authors, and it has a faculty sponsor so I'm not sure what that's about, but the first thing you look for is this abstract. You've got your introduction and you'll go on down through here and see some key elements. Um, if you read this one, uh, it would have some research information in it. And again, this one has methods, results. It has some statistics in it and research in the discussion. Uh, most of these have a limitation section just to tell the reader that, you know, some of the, even though they did the study, uh, there are certain limits to it. And then there's those references. So this could also be used. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is show you the book in Questia because I think that's probably going to be the most useful. Uh, but I wanted to show you the different ways that you can do this, some tricks. So to get to your book, you just go to your course and go to the ebook and online work, or it may just say um, it may just say ebook. And when you scroll down here, um, you're just going to click the ebook, and we're going to go and look for the Questia symbol on the right hand side. Okay, so once you have clicked on your book, you're going to see the chapter. And I've kind of got it minimized so you can see this. Uh, on the side here, you see all those little icons, and there's a little down arrow. And you'll have to push it down until you see Questia, which is the red eye. And you can open that and go ahead and expand it so that you can see the whole thing. This is the little expansion symbol. So once you click that, it's going to take a minute to load uh, if your computer is like mine. And you can actually search the library here. So when you, uh, when you type in the keyword that I had typed in, um, let's see what happens here. So it's going to go through the process of searching for a lot of stuff. Um, if you noticed uh, when it first flashed up, it said peer review. So as you go down here, there are some ways to limit your search. So when I click peer review, there's quite a few results here. And um, the first one, academic achievement of homeschool and public school students would be perfect if I were researching uh, the actual um, differences or information trying to compare those two. So when you hit read it now, it's it's going to pull that article up 
and you should be able to see all the information. Now this is a peer-reviewed journal article. It says it's in the School Community Journal Spring 2004, so it's within the years that, uh, well no it's not, it's a little bit older. Uh, so here's the title, uh, and remember I said the only time you should use the older ones is if you're uh, doing uh, a section in your paper on history and that sort of changes the dynamics there. So here you've got the title and the authors and you're going to see some uh, key elements down here as you scroll down through here. There's going to be research that it's talking about, methodology, there's that word again, uh, results of the study. So these are uh, mostly studies when you see these articles and then there's the discussion we just passed and if you keep going um, you're going to see all of the sources that they used. So that is a very good uh, way to find articles as well and it is in your book, so your online book. You can save your active projects so that you can come back to those. Um, you can even take a tour and this will show you how to do it, uh, but do your best to find two uh, peer-reviewed journal articles if you can and uh, hopefully this video was helpful and it kind of gives you some direction on where to go with that. If you have any questions, as always, go ahead and give me an email. Remember, it's jackie.gibbons at kctcs.edu, uh, and I will answer your question as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.